Hi again. Uh, here we are to finish our talk of the page view controller in Xcode 7. Um, and, uh, you know, so far we've got the page view controller set up and it's displaying our first page. Okay, so now in order for the page view controller to work, we need to work with these two methods here called view controller before view controller and view controller after view controller. And the idea is that you know, when you're swiping left or right, um, the page view controller is going to ask you for the next view controller, that's the view controller after, or the view controller before, and it's going to call these two methods, right? These are the data source methods. So we've arranged the, the view controllers here. We've given the, their storyboard IDs in this um, or we've stored their storyboard IDs in this pages array, right? So right now, what we're going to get here is we're going to get the current view controller, but it won't be the name here. It'll be the view controller itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare it to what we have in the array, right? So what we're going to, or we're going to look in the array for that item. So we'll say, hey, if let index equal, um, <coughs> What are we going to say? We're going to say view controller. So right now I'm in, I'm going to do the same thing in, in before view controller, but right now I'm inside of, you know, view controller after view controller. So we're going to say, you know, if let index equal um, view controller, right? So we want this one right here, right? View controller. And then we're going to say dot, you know, storyboard or no restoration ID. Like there is no, for some reason I couldn't find storyboard ID, but you know, it'll give me restoration ID. And if you recall, in the very first video, what we did is we assigned, we checked the box that said use the storyboard ID for the restoration ID. So these will be the same for us, right? So now we can't, this isn't really our index. So what we want to do is we want to find this restoration ID inside pages and see if we can find it. So what we're going to do is, let me actually cut that. Let me start over again here. I'm going to type in pages.index of, and then the element that I want here is going to be, um, let me do that again, view controller dot uh, restoration ID or identifier. Okay, and then I'll, I'll finish off my if statement. So, so this, you know, it may find something here. It may not find something, right? Um, right, and then it, it'll give us, if, if it does find the index of this, you know, this value, you know, at in, inside pages, if it finds that, then, um, then it'll give us a value. What is the problem here? Insert exclamation point. Sure, okay. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe, I guess that's true. Maybe a view controller might not have a, rest, a restoration identifier, right? So we could add another check for that just to make sure that this existed, but let's assume that we have it, right? Okay, so now that we've got the index, what are we going to do? Well, we need to check the index because if we're asking for the view controller after view controller, if we're on the first view controller, that's going to be, you know, the second view controller, right? Oops, and I noticed I misspelled that too. Let me fix my spelling. Okay, that would have been an error for sure, right? Um, so if we're on view controller number one, the view controller after is number two, right? Because, you know, view controller number one is index zero. And if we add one, that'll give us view controller number two. Now, my problem though is that, um, or our problem, right, is, is that if we're on the last view controller and you add one, you go off the end of the array and there's nothing available here, and then we would get an error or, you know, our, or let's just call it unpredictable results, right, okay? Um, so what we want to do is we want to say, you know, hey, if um, index is less than pages.count minus one, right um, then we can we can access one of these view controllers right because um, you know pages count minus one will be the last view controller because they're they start indexed at zero so this is zero one two and three and there's four pages in here so the count is four subtract one we get three and that's the last one Right? So if we're less 
than that number, then we must be here, you know, on number three, two, or one, in which case we can go to the next one, okay? Okay, so if that all works out, then we can return the view controller, right? So we want to return the view controller that's at the index plus one. So what we'll do is we'll say uh, uh, view controller at index, index plus one. Okay? And then if, if this stuff fails here, then we'll just return a nil. And, you know, page view controller is happy with that. It, you know, it knows if you return a nil that there isn't, you know, a page at that index. Okay? Okay, so that's page uh, view controller after view controller. Now let's do view controller before view controller. So this is going to be very similar. So we'll say if let index um, equal uh, pages dot index of. So we're pretty much doing the same thing we had here. And we'll say uh, view controller dot restoration identifier. Okay, so there's our index. And in this case, it's asking for the, the view controller before. So we're okay if we're view controller four, three, or two, but if we're on view controller number number one, which is at index zero, then um, we can't get the view controller before. So what, what we need to do is we need to make sure that index is greater than zero. Okay, oops, I forgot that exclamation point there again, right? Okay, so what we'll do here is we'll say, hey, you know, if index is greater than zero, then return view controller at index, index minus one. Okay, so if we're greater than zero, we can subtract one, and the lowest number we'll get is, is zero, right, which would be the first view controller, right? And again, if this if this fails, like if none of this adds up correctly, or you know this, we can't match these situations, then um, then we return a nil, okay? And that's okay because this function returns an optional view controller, and so it could return a nil. Okay, so uh, let's give that a test now. So I'll, I'll click the run button here and uh, see what happens. Well, great. So there's our, our view controller there. And then I'm going to drag to the next page there. And there's it's using the goofy page swipe, which was super cool like 15 years ago when someone did it in Flash. Now it just looks kind of dated and, and goofy. Um, but anyway, it does work well, right? And maybe, maybe it's good for some, maybe that page curl is okay for some situations. But you can see now I can swipe through all four of my pages, right? And everything is working well. Um, if you want to change the transition, since we created this mostly in, uh, in Storyboard, um, going back to Storyboard, if you click on the page view controller here, when you go to the property inspector, you'll see a bunch of properties here. And uh, one of the properties is page view controller navigation and uh, transition style is another one. Okay, and so you can set all of those. So you know, for example, uh, navigation here could be horizontal, but maybe instead of page curl as a style, we'll switch it to scroll, right? And uh, we can, uh, you know, test it again here. And then now it scrolls. I don't know why. I don't know why it did that to me. Let me see here. Maybe I got something wrong there, but uh, hey, wait a minute. Um, it's kind of working there. Okay, so yeah, I guess I got some, maybe some problem with my um, my constraints on that page. Um, or maybe, maybe there's, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Th that should be, it's mostly working there. But anyway, I'll, I'll figure out what the problem is and we'll put that in the next video maybe. But anyway, there's our, there's our, um, our basic page view controller there. Um, let me open it up again here, right? Oh, that was actually my first example. So, um, but anyway, thanks for watching and I hope that that, um, that works for you, right?